Hey guys, it's me, Holly Madison. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm continuing my reaction series to Girls Next Door. We are in season three, but this episode I'm about to review was like a special episode that aired right after the Vegas episode in season three. It aired the week after. And this episode is so weird because it's like a best of, it's like the four of us sitting in bed watching the show. And I just remember it was a nightmare to film because the executive producer was there and I think he was really excited about it and he really had a vision of how it was gonna go, but wasn't really explaining it in a way that translated and we weren't reading his mind and doing what he expected us to do. So he kept getting pissed, like foot stomping pissed. And it was just so awkward. And I hated filming it because we're filming it in the bed that I sleep in every night and it just felt kind of weird and just awkward and gross that they were filming us all in the same bed, even though we weren't doing anything. I just didn't like it. And I completely forgot what this episode was like to watch. So we're gonna find out. This episode was called Bedtime Stories. And if I remember correctly, we're all wearing the pink flannel pajamas that have had a ton of in his room for any girl who would come over and stay the night. Okay, I'm not wearing the pink flannel pajamas. I'm wearing these flannel pajamas that had puffins on them because that was my nickname for Hef. They were like these bright blue pajamas with puffins on it. And he's just sitting in bed looking at the DVDs. And Bridget's wearing a very on-brand two-piece pink frilly nighty. And Kendra's wearing like a camisole top and matching pants. I don't know if it's Playboy merch, it's light blue. You can see at the foot of Hef's bed, he has all the latest tabloids and monthly magazines that he subscribed to and the latest Playboy, which it looks like Anna Nicole Smith is on the cover of that one. Could that be right? I feel like that came out earlier. Cause I remember Anna Nicole passed away when I was still at the mansion and Playboy did like a tribute issue to her. And it kind of looks like that, but I can't really tell cause it's like tilted. And one magazine I remember that was like on there for so long, and this will give you like a memory of like the time period this was, was the famous Vanity Fair fold-out cover that had all the tweens on it. And it said, it's raining teens. And it's totally a major moment in pop culture or something like that. And I just like have that headline stuck in my head. And it was like Amanda Bynes and the Olsen twins and Hilary Duff. And then you fold it out and it was like Evan Rachel Wood and like all these other people. When I picture the magazines at the foot of the bed, that's the one I always picture. So Hef is asking us what we want to watch. And I think the scene's going really well. Like I think we're doing what we're supposed to be doing and it's coming off like pleasant and cute. And I don't know why the producer was like unhappy. I, I don't know. I think he just expected us to be saying things that we weren't saying. I don't know what it was, but Bridget wants to see the dog birthday party episode. Kendra suggests fight night. And I go, not the first one. And everybody's like, why? I'm like, uh, and I don't know if I'm like, I don't remember why I said that. I don't know if I'm joking because it's Barbie and there's supposed to be this rivalry, but I think we're gonna watch it. Okay, so I'm saying that the I hate watching the first episode. It seems so foreign. I don't even feel like I'm watching myself. I feel like I'm watching a real housewife show or something. And Bridget says the episode I hate is the second episode. And I go, that's cause it's, the second episode is your bitch episode and the first episode is my bitch episode. And this is just like backs up what I'm saying about how like the producers always wanted to make Kendra the main character. So they always made her look good, especially in the first three episodes, but they make me look like a bitch in the first episode and Bridget look like a spoiled crier in the second episode. Does it seem to you like season three of a show is a little early for one of these nostalgia episodes? And then it's showing us shooting for Playboy and it's showing like a montage of all our pictorials. And I love that footage because I just think we all look so good and it's like good eye candy. So we're all talking about the things we hate about how we're cutting the show. And Bridget's like, they always show me crying even when I'm trying not to cry and I don't want it to play out that way. They always show me crying. And Kendra's like, they always show my worst sports stuff and make it look like I'm really bad at sports. And then we're talking about bowling and when I bowl myself down the bowling alley, which is one of my favorite scenes because it's one of the few scenes where I'm just like being goofy and being myself. I feel like so far in this episode where I'm talking with Hef and the girls on the bed, I'm way more authentic or come off way more authentic than the rest of the show. Cause I've said to you guys before, like if you watch the Hef's world pilot that didn't air, it's like on the girls next door DVDs and you can find half of it on YouTube. If you look real hard, that's like the real me. Like, not like I'm sitting down telling you all my deepest, darkest secrets and like what I think about, 
you know, when I'm alone in my room, but like, that's the person you would have encountered if you would have like met me in real life back then. And that's what I'm seeing here when we're sitting on the bed talking together. And I don't see that throughout the rest of the series. It's like a totally different person. I'm not going to say what, cause I don't want to bag on anybody, but some of these scenes that they thought were like highlight scenes and like the best scenes that they need to revisit. I'm like, I don't know. There's this scene where Kendra finds her grill in the limo and they cut to Sarah's face and it's just like a normal face. Like, but it's just so funny the way they cut it because it makes it look like she's pissed or something. It's just like, you know, it's not like, you know, she wasn't really making that face in that moment, or at least I do because I can tell how this show is cut, but it's just funny. Oh my God. And then they're cutting to one of those gratuitous scenes that they always do of Kendra undressing in her room. Like I've mentioned before in my commentary, how that turns into a running theme, how they're like, let's get some half naked footage of Kendra undressing for an hour in her room. And it's like, Okay, I am playing with my hair like a nervous freak. And I say that my favorite episode or one of my favorite episodes so far was the Operation Playmate one, which is interesting to note that that was my favorite episode at that time. I wonder what the mindset behind that was. Oh, because it included the slip and slide, my pet project. And of course the 4th of July party was always my favorite party at the mansion because it was the only one where we were really like allowed to run around and I felt like I could have a few drinks and talk to everybody else. So we're ordering food and I ordered a bowl of life cereal with soy milk. I used to drink so much soy milk. Blech. So Bridget and Kendra order and Kendra's like, I want a strawberry milkshake. And Hef's like, oh, give me the phone. Give me this. I thought he was going to order a strawberry milkshake too. And he goes, I'd like celery hearts and hard boiled eggs. <laughs> that so doesn't sound good. So we're also answering questions here. Bridget is answering her number one question, which is what kind of dog is Wednesday? So this was kind of like the 2007 version of like a YouTube q and I guess. Okay, so my hair in the show is so white and you can really see it here. And I just don't know like, I mean, granted my hair would break off back then to the point where I couldn't get it really long again. But now it's like I'm on this root probation where I'm not supposed to get my hair highlighted unless it's like been six weeks in between time. But back then I would go in every single week and it would get bleached out white. And like I said, it would break off to a point, but like it wouldn't be like breaking the way it is now. So I don't know what was different. And then I'm saying that my favorite part of the show is all the cute scenes with the animals, which is still true today. Now we're talking about Anastasia's makeover. And I'm saying that when I would interact with people online back then, I say it's a live chat, but what would I have been live chatting on back then? I don't know. Anyway, I think it was like a, like a message board live chat. Like it, I don't think they had Reddit back then, but like a Reddit AMA type of a thing. But everybody's favorite episode, as far as the fans were concerned, at least from the feedback I was getting, was the Anastasia makeover. And everybody wanted that makeover. You guys, we have in-ears in. You can see them. You can see it in Hef's ear. At first, I was like, what is he? He didn't wear a hearing aid. What is he wearing? But now I can see it in Kendra's ear, too. I forgot that we had in-ears so the executive producer could, like, prompt us what to say. Not that he was, like, telling us word for word what to say, but, like, oh, talk about this episode now. And they're showing scenes from the murder mystery birthday party. And you can see a scene of Bridget running through the mansion basement. I always think it's interesting to see parts of the house that we don't usually see on the show. Kendra goes, that's the difference between other reality shows and our reality shows. This is real. What is real about it? I mean, from my perspective, it didn't feel real. Like, yeah, it was filmed, you know, about real stuff that we were actually doing, but there was such a twist put on it that made us seem like a happy sitcom family that to me, it didn't feel real at all. Oh my God, you guys, this is a 45 minute episode. Ooh, and I'm kind of bored watching it. I think just because I've so recently reviewed all these episodes that I'm just like, okay, here we are in Europe again. You know what I mean? So I don't like have that much to say about it that I haven't already said. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm only halfway through. My favorite part of the Europe episodes were Waldo, the photographer, the, the paparazzi guy who just kept, I don't know how he was even as good at following us as he was, but he was everywhere. I went and got some food because I'm kind of bored watching this one, to be honest. And it shows us, I didn't realize the timing was gonna work out so well, but we just got our food on the TV. We have our trays. So we are in a long scene about food. They're showing basically every scene where we ever tried food. 
and we're talking about like clotted cream and all the stuff. So we're recapping the San Diego episode and there's the confessional interview with Kendra's mom and in the background there's a framed headshot of Kendra against a white background. And I don't think it is, I think it was real and that's just what the picture looked like. But it gives the effect when you looked at look at it, it almost looks like the whole picture was just like photoshopped into this shot. It's funny, look at it if you're watching along. It's funny because when Hep talks about Kentucky Fried Chicken, he calls it Kentucky Colonel. <laughs> Oh my God, ew, he's talking about when the mom pulled out the videotapes of her of the kid as a kid. And I just, you guys know, you guys know if you watch my reactions, how I feel about that scene. I feel like he was such a creep in that scene. Like, I don't know if it's gonna show my face here on the bed, but I'll be cringing. No, they don't show my face. There's probably a reason for that. Okay, I'm about three quarters of the way through this episode, so maybe it'll change. But it's interesting to see what the producer thought was worthy and putting in this best of because so far it's almost all just Hep and Kendra scenes. And the fact that I'm left out is kind of understandable just because I wasn't really giving a lot to the show the first two seasons. I was really shy, not participating as much. But like Bridget had a ton of good content and they're not using any of it except for her crying scenes, which I just think is interesting. Ew, and the next thing they cut to after the San Diego episode is they show the Chicago episode and then they show the baby shower episode where Hef comes in and he's like, I heard somebody was pregnant, just wanted to be sure it wasn't mine. And I thought that was just so gross and like rude and inappropriate. It's interesting because we're almost at the end of season three when this aired, but we're not reviewing anything from season three. We're only reviewing stuff from season one and two. And in my personal opinion, I think the best, some of the best episodes are the beginning of season three. And they're certainly like the episodes that I participate in more. So I'm just watching this like kind of bored, like, ugh. oh my God, now they're doing a whole montage of me teasing half about being married and having kids, which I thought the jokes were funny at the time. Like I liked it, but I hate how like that's all they focus on with me. And even to the point where they're doing like a montage of it here. And I just feel like, for some reason, like people really villainize me for that. And I just feel like it's just one of the things from this show that like follows me and I hate. Oh my God, they're not using anything from season three, except for like little bits and pieces and sound bites that they cut into this horrible montage they're doing of me. Because of course they need it for that, but we can't like review any of the things we like about season three. Oh my God, and of course they're showing like the crying scene from the anniversary episode, which is my least favorite scene ever. I kind of feel like with Kendra, they just show a lot of like neutral, like kind of funny stuff in this. But with Bridget, they do show some cute stuff with Wednesday, but they mostly just show all Bridget crying and then they show stuff I hate. So I feel like this whole thing is like torture for me and Bridget. And then Hepha's saying to us how this was like the best time in his life, blah, blah, blah. But he said that about every period in his life. Like any interview you see with him, it'll be like, this is the best time of my life. Like no matter what's going on. Like if you see interviews with him from when he was married, he'll be like, this is the best time of my life. But then you see interviews with him after he got divorced and be like, being married was the worst time of my life. You know what I mean? So it's just like meaningless. I'm legit fast forwarding this. I don't want to watch it. I think this is dumb and like the... I'm so annoyed by what the producer picked to include as like a best of, because when I think of like, like if I'm trying to think of, oh, what were Bridget's best scenes in the first couple of seasons? Of course I would pick like scenes with Wednesday, cause I love Wednesday, but I would think like the strip tease coming out of the cake. I think she looked her hottest. I think it was like a fun project and a fun surprise for Hep and like really visual but they don't include that at all. It's just, okay, here's a scene of Wednesday going dog -a tonic and then we're gonna look at every time Bridget cried, which is like what she hates. And like for me, I have to sit through everything I hate, like the crying scene at the anniversary episode, but then every scene they pick for Kendra is just like a softball. It's just like, ugh. And Bridget says in the beginning that she wanted to watch the dog birthday party and they don't show the dog birthday party except in tiny little clips at the end when they're just showing like really quick flashes of like every episode. And also like there's a big section about Kendra's hometown visit. There was nothing about Bridget's hometown visit. It's just like, 
it's really obvious when you watch this, like who they favored and who they liked and who they didn't like. And it's just so rude. Oh my God, you guys, this is so disgusting. So they have a totally staged scene where we're literally all under the covers, like hugging each other as if we're going to go to sleep together, which we never once all slept in the same bed. So that's totally fake and uncomfortable. And Hef goes, so what do you want to do now? And I'm just like, this is gross. It's not how anything would have ever happened in real life. And it completely, like, I remember hating filming this and being really uncomfortable. And I'm uncomfortable now watching it. And I'm so grossed out that they made us do that. And then Hef's like, what do you want to do now? And Kendra's like, you. And Bridget's like, I want dessert. And you can see the look on my face. And I'm like, I have to get up early tomorrow and go to work. And I'm, I'm glad I expressed my real self in that moment. Oh my God. And then Hef goes, I think I'm going to give you a day off. And literally my face, I go, <laughs> I was so disgusted having to shoot that scene. It was so gross. Oh my God, you guys, that was a doozy. Okay, positives about that episode. I loved seeing all the scenes of like Wednesday. And I like the beginning, like the first half of the episode when you see the scenes of us in bed watching TV. I felt like that was very realistic. It was like a realistic representation of what it would have actually looked like when we did on occasion watch TV together in the bedroom. You know, we ordered food, we were being very real. I felt like everybody in that scene was very much being themselves. But then as it moved on, okay, the negative part, first of all, it was just really unfair how it was all like mostly scenes of Kendra and Hef through the whole thing. But with Bridget, except for like one cute scene of Wednesday, it was like, let's watch all of Bridget's crying scenes, which she just said she absolutely hates. And then with me, it's like this big montage of me talking about getting married and having kids that makes me look like an absolute psycho. Like I, I always would wonder, I'm like, why are people mad at me for that? Like clearly I was joking about it half the time on the show and there's nothing wrong with wanting that anyway. But the way they cut it together like that, I'm like, okay, I can see where people think I look like a psycho. And then they have to show my least favorite scene of the whole series where I'm like crying in the anniversary episode. So basically this thing is like torture for me and Bridget, but like easy and fun for Kendra and Hef. And then just the scene they had us shoot at the end was so disgusting and so uncomfortable and so rude and I hate it. Like this, like I know I've reviewed episodes before and been like, okay, this is my least favorite episode, like out of the ones I've watched so far. And like I say that in the thumbnail, this one is my least favorite episode so far. Who knows? There might be worse out there coming up. But this one, my least favorite episode. Disgusting. So anyway, I will see you guys next time with a better episode because it can't get worse than this, can it? Bye.